Hi everyone, today's video is going to be another lip product collection uh, declutter. Again, sun is rising, we're just doing what we can. Um, obviously solstice has already happened, so in theory every video the lighting should be a little bit better, but we just work with what we can. I know that I could in theory um, film everything over the weekend, but I, I really don't like doing that. Because I feel like my first video is good and then like the third one I film in a day, I'm just like, mm, I'm over it. So, we're just going to keep doing this with, with not so good lighting and hopefully that's okay. Usually when I'm like, y'all, the lighting sucks, you're like, oh, I don't really care. So, hopefully you still feel that way. But, we're going to go through 10 more lip products. Ne um, I've already pulled them out of my drawer. We're going to see what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of, what um, I need because I had over 200, I've gotten rid of quite a few um, in this process, and then, so my plan is I'm gonna do all of them, and I think, based on how many lipsticks I have, there's gonna be about 20 different episodes of this. And this is currently, I believe, episode nine. I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, so it's gonna be a while, and then we're gonna do a video where I like make sure everything can lay flat in my collection, or in my drawer for lip products, and if it can't, then we might have to declutter a few more. So that's, that's my plan. And then I'm going to do a makeup inventory because I know I've got a lot of requests for a makeup inventory and like, I love makeup inventories. I love watching them. And with this plus my project 10 uses, it just like makes sense that we should have one, but not yet, but it's coming. It's coming probably like in the beginning of February is like what I'm foreseeing. Cause I might also do like one last full makeup collection declutter before then because I've been doing a really good job decluttering my lip products then an excellent job decluttering my eye products in my project 10 uses but there's still some stuff in here that I think maybe could go before I do an inventory also don't worry this is I only have two Valentine's Day mugs I've realized I just don't have very many Valentine's Day um, decorations and like first world problems I know I know like it's not that big of a deal but this one says kiss me I'm caffeinated the other one says you had me at coffee but that one lives at school because I like to change out my mug seasonally um, at my office as well so this one is my at home Valentine's Day mug Yossi Kanga taking a nap hippocampus is not in the cage He's in the bed. He's sick and I hate it. He's been like, he threw up like four times last night. I'm not being dramatic. So we're a little worried about our baby boy. So hopefully he's fine though. I think he's acting okay. I think he just must've gotten into something. Who knows, you know? But three minutes in, let's go ahead and get started on the lip product. So first I have this L'Oreal Infallible Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade 206 Plumped Rose. Ooh, it smells really weird. Okay, that smells like acid. I'm not putting that on my lips, y'all. I'm not. Like, that smells like acid. I don't need that. We're gonna go ahead and declutter it without even trying it on. Saving my lips, because you know, scraping off 10 products isn't very helpful. Next, I have this. Um, this is one of the other Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean lipstick duos. Um, if you follow me at this time, or if you've heard me talk about this time in my purchasing life um i was very much like i'm just gonna buy the whole collection which like i don't know what kind of money i thought i had that i could do that i couldn't i could not afford it um 2021 is the year we're gonna be better i know that 2021 so far has been um not great been some scary things happening last night is the night um i'm filming this on the thursday and so last night was when um the u.s capitol was stormed and it was um, a little unnerving, at least to, in my opinion, but uh, I think a lot of people share that opinion. So, uh, it hasn't been like the best start to the year, we can all agree, but my plan is that we're going to have some things paid off before the end of the year. John and I have talked about it, and I don't know if I've told y'all this yet, I'm excited about this. So, we recently had our honeymoon, it was perfect and wonderful, um, we, we explored Savannah, we were going to do Disney, but with COVID, um, we did not feel comfortable doing Disney. I'm not judging you if you went to Disney, like you do you. I just didn't feel like that was the right decision for us. Um, but next January, so in a year from now, 
I have a conference in Italy um, for science, duh, and I'm almost definitely going, and we'd really like to be able to save up enough for John to go. So that's also kind of in the back of our mind. Like, you know, if we're good now, we can go to Italy. And I've never been to Italy. John's been, but not to this part. So we're excited. Anyway, that was a tangent, a big surprise. But I'm gonna, um, when I, when this collection came out, because it was Lorac and it was Pirates of the Caribbean, and I love, love Johnny Depp, love Pirates, love Disney, love makeup. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy it all. I bought this blue lipstick and it's in the shade Ahoy Matey and I don't, I just am not quite sure why I bought this. It looks okay, it looks okay. It smells fine, it smells kind of vanilla-y. I mean, if I need to do a zombie look, actually I did a zombie look with this lipstick. Well, if we're being fair, I did a zombie look for John with this lipstick on. Now the formula of this lipstick is really nice. It's creamy, it's pretty. It feels really soft. I like this color in theory, but I'm just not, I don't think I'm cool enough to pull it off. We'll put on the lip gloss, see if that makes a difference. No, not really. And again, like, I know I could mix it and stuff, but if you've been watching me, you know I don't mix lip products. I don't like it. Um, like, if I was just going to do a video or, like, a very specific look, maybe. But, like, for my real life, like, that's just a lot of work to me. <sighs> I like this. But I just think if we're being realistic, I'm not going to use it. And I don't want to be that person that keeps something around and, like, what if in four years I need it? You know, I don't, I don't like that mindset because in four years, if I need this color lipstick, instead of using one that's like eight years old, I'll go buy a new one. So that's going to go, but it is an interesting color, you know, and if I was a cooler girl, you know, if my aesthetic wasn't quite so like Disney princess, five-year-old that can dress herself, then maybe, however, I sit here today in front of you, you can't see it. This is my skirt. It's a black sparkle tutu. And I've got puffins. You want to see this? This is real cute. We've got puffins on my sweater. Black sparkle tutu on the bottom. I am a five-year-old who gets to dress herself. Therefore, a cool blue lipstick just doesn't quite fit my aesthetic. And that's okay. Not everything can. Next, we have this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Ripe Berry. This, y'all, I don't even, I think it maybe it's been used once. So many of my lip products are, like, fall into that category, and I don't like that. If I remember right, I like this formula. It's really soft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the kind of color that like I feel like I could pull off. Like it's a little cool girl, but like I can do that. I just can't do a blue. I don't feel, well, and you know, and you might be like, oh, you look good and thank you, I appreciate it. But like, I don't feel good in it, you know? And that's all that really matters. And if you feel good in a, lip paper, a blue lipstick, you get it, do it. This is the NYC Expert Light Blast Lipstick in the shade 447 Forever Fuchsia. This is old. Still smells fine. I know with this lighting, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, it's a hot pink. Feels fine. I think we're gonna keep it for now. I'm not like in love with it, but I don't dislike it. I'm a little on the fence with that color. But for now we're gonna keep it. And then like I said, we'll do, let's look over the whole collection, see if everything can fit flat and whatever can't, we might start decluttering some more. And so that might go out then. But for now, I like it. This is a Smashbox lipstick in the shade Mandarin. Oh, 
don't know. This is fuzzy. Can y'all see? Come on. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Let's just be honest. Maybe a little. It's fuzzy. We're not going to put a fuzzy lipstick on. That's a no for me, dog. All right. That's the second lipstick I've decluttered without trying on. Look at me. All right. Next, we have this Glow Skin Beauty. I want to say I got this from an influencer box. This seems to be true. And it's the lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Well, I guess, you know, this was before Charlotte Tilbury, or I don't know, she wasn't as big. This is like a brownie nude. I'm not much of a nude lipstick gal. But let's see. Feels really nice. It's like a cool tone nude. Hmm. I kind of even like it with this eye look. So this could this could maybe work. We'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now. Yeah. We'll see if that ends up a place in my heart. This is the Boots Botanics lipstick in the shade. Peach. This I remember buying when I went into that like every time I go to Target I have to buy something and this one It's starting to look fuzzy and I feel like if I have to debate for this long if it's gone bad or not We should just toss it right like like, it's not like I'm like, oh, I only have four lipsticks. Like, if I have to think, hmm, is this bad? Let's just toss it. Let's just do it. This is the Bessemer Cosmetics um, Snow White lipstick. Another one of the collection. I bought the whole thing. And this is in the shade Make-A-Wish. All right. Looks good. Oh, I hate, I hate when I'm watching back these videos and I'm just like down here instead of where you can see. Looks good. It's kind of like a, a rose nude. Let's see if we like it. These can get drying after a while, I know. Ooh. I really like the color of that. I think it's it actually might be kind of unique to my collection. You might be laughing, being like, girl, you got 200 lipsticks, nothing's unique. But this might be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that for now for now we'll see but I like that all right next I have this NARS velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Cruella and I already did the Rakugian one and y'all reminded me this was a Sephora birthday gift like forever ago I haven't gotten my Sephora birthday gift in years but I'm proud of that I really am With pencils, it's a lot easier to keep them sanitary because you can just sharpen. It's a very pretty red. I love a red lipstick. I'm going to keep that for now. I do think I'm going to end up having to get rid of some extra stuff and like do some comparison swatches. We're like, all right, girl, you kept 17 red lipsticks. Do you, which ones do you really need? But for now. We're just gonna go with it. I hate how red and gross. I look like I've been eating like a popsicle, like a child. I love popsicles. I don't know why I said like a child. Um, this is the Buxom Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Centerfold Racy. So, let's see, let's see. And well, if I remember correctly, this is a very like warm tone nude. It is like almost the exact color of my lips at the moment because you know it's got uh -uh. doesn't taste nice does not taste nice does not taste nice not quite towely it's not towely it's just chemically Coffee, where are you? 
Uh-uh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's a no for me, dog. Okay. So that was our 10 lip products. Got rid of five. Got rid of the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh. That was a little hotter than I meant it to be. Blue lipstick. Got rid of this L'Oreal Infallible Plumping Lip Gloss. And let's just remember how many of these have gone bad. Which is why you don't need to keep a collection of 200 lip products. Don't do it. Please learn from my mistakes. The Buxom Wildly Whipped Lip Color in the shade Centerfold. The Boots Botanics Lip Color in the shade Peach. And the Smashbox Lipstick in the shade Mandarin. So those five are gone. But we're going to keep the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade uh, Bright Berry. The NYC Expert Last Lipstick in the shade Fuchsia Forever. No, Forever Fuchsia, my bad. The NARS Velvet Lip Pencil in the shade, oops, goodness gracious, in the shade Corella. I remember when this was like everybody's favorite thing. This Glow Minerals Lipstick in the shade Pillow, Pillow Talk and this Besame Lipstick in the shade Make-A-Wish, yeah. So, keeping five, getting rid of five, that's pretty good, half and half. If I do that with all of them, I'd be down to 100 lip products, which is still way more than a single person needs. But, you know, progress. That's the goal. That's the constant mindset is get better. You don't have to be perfect. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lighting. We're working on it. Well, really, we're not. We're just hoping as time goes on, the sun's going to rise earlier. Not hoping that's going to happen. Science, hello. Forever we trust. Um. So... There you go, that's what we're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Also, I just need to show you. I'm kind of obsessed with this nail polish. This is from Pacifica, and it is the, um, it's like their top coat in the shade Galaxy. But I only have, oh gosh, this is terrible. Oh gosh, that was a terrible idea. I don't know if you can see. See, in the, in the, with a flashlight, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you. I'm going to try to make a picture on Instagram, okay? I'm sorry. I'm trying to be cool, and I, I obviously cannot do it. But it's like a, it's a light purple base. You can see that. And there's a holographic glitter in it. And I just love it so much. It's beautiful. So, big fan of that. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all real soon. Bye.